guys I am going to do a quick video about my coupon binder um, while the kids and the husband are home so I am going to show you um, this is a layout that I kind of came up with myself um, if you can probably Google and look for you know different layouts that might work better for you this just happens to I kind of did this based on how the grocery store is set up so basically um, usually I have an index you know it's usually the first thing that you see when you open up my binder but as I'm um, organizing them I kind of pull it out that way I don't have to keep flipping to the, the front of the book to find out what I need and plus I kind of memorize some of my numbers anyway so you know I just kind of dig through it if I need to because I lose that stupid index paper all the time Okay, so here I have um, my rain checks. Usually I put them in front. That'll be the first thing I see whenever I'm organizing coupons. Um, right now, a friend of mine hooked me up with some coupons. And I have a rain check that matches. So I will be using those. Um, and my awesome mom numbered these for me with little sticky tabs. So whenever I have the index, of course it's numbered. Um, I just kind of flip back and forth to numbers, and I know not everybody, you know, chooses to use the binder. It, you know, everybody is going to learn their own different ways of doing things, you know, because everybody's mind works differently. So, um, I have this layout if anybody wants it. I have, there's a girl, she, if she reads this, she can probably explain to you how she does it. She organizes her coupons by alphabet she does like this this one would go in the H um, it doesn't go by grouping it as categories so you know everybody does things differently I've seen different layouts crazy coupon lady has a layout um, mine just works for me and there are a few coupon buddies that do use this system um, the coupon lady I think hers is like 40 and this one is only 27 and you know it kind of basically is set up for the most part of how you know your the stores are for the, for the most part I mean some of it you know like I don't always go to the dog food and the dog food is always in different places in Walmart so I kind of kept the groceries in the front I kept then I worked my way to the pharmacy to the cleaners and then the pharmacy and HBA stuff so dog food is just kind of on its own um well pets I have dogs so anyways this is it this is basically what it looks like I am outside my house so that would be my air conditioner cutting on um so like my condiments here's all my condiments um you know there's that and then number six you know it's all labeled number six is my drinks and on my insert on my index, um, you know, number six is drink. So I just kind of flip through there. There are people that organize by um, insert where they use a file system basically and file it by insert dates. Like the whatever came out, you know, like Red Plum 518 and then Smart Source 518 and blah, 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 blah. They just kind of cut as they go. That um, works great for some people. Me personally, I have to see it. I, I'm a picture. I'm a, I have a photographic memory. I have to see what it is I'm looking at. Um, so you know, this just happens to work for me because you know I can see it. I can pull it out. Count how many I got. I don't have to go back and forth through the inserts. There's also people that use accordions, where basically they. Um, have groups like this but it's kind of like a you know just like a small coupon book basically so um here it is this is the binder of course mine is really big <laughs> i honestly need a big one but I'm too cheap to you know pay 30 bucks for a big one so here it is here's my binder i hope this makes sense to some of you guys i'm gonna rush in and get <clears throat> another video while there's nobody home so let me know if you guys have any questions or if you want the layout. I will be glad to email it to you, send it to you as an attachment through Facebook or whatever. 
So, of course, let me know. And if you have any questions, I hope this helps.